They faced enemy fire every night, and now they're back home from the war in Iraq. About 60 Army Reservists from Riverside, Al Naipo, live in Riverside with the citizen soldiers and their families were honored. Al? Well, you know, first and foremost, all these reservists made it back home alive, and today they got the recognition they deserve. A hero's welcome awaited these Army Reservists returning home after serving a year in war-torn Iraq. Relatives were there to greet them as they prepared to resume the life they left behind, like a child born while they were a world away. It's difficult being out there, you know, just wondering how your baby's doing, how is she holding up, my wife. These 68 reservists were part of the 304th Sustainment Brigade, based out of March Air Reserve Base. Their unit was responsible for supplying and distributing goods to U.S. fighting forces throughout Iraq, and it wasn't easy. Facing some of the harsh and fierce enemies over there, every night, pretty much, our convoys got attacked. Yet, they didn't lose one soldier, but they were around other units that did. Each of these warrior citizens were honored for their service, along with their families, who also sacrificed. This is our third, so it's gotten easier each time as, a, as an adult, but for the children it's harder. You know, it's difficult for them because they don't understand. Members of the Ukaipa High School football team this year are wearing the patch of the 304th on their jerseys in support. Sergeant Joshua Fouch returned a new man, dropping 70 pounds from his once 240-pound frame. Uh, I cut down on my portion sizes. Uh, one of my bad habits was eating everything on my plate, and I had to break myself of it. Call it the uh, deployment diet. Well, for the, all the rest of these reservists, the next step is to get back into society, and they say that shouldn't be a problem. Reporting live from Riverside, I'm Al Naipo, Fox 11 News. Indeed.